Hi ladies. Good Tuesday morning to you. Um, I have a flip through of Grunge in Sparkle. Don't ask me why I named it that. I guess because it's grungy and it's got some sparkle. <laughs> um, yeah, so I could call it memories, but anyways, um, it is a five and a half this way by nine. Um, one signature, 38 pages, 76 sides. Um, I have two hitch posts as the closure with elastic. Um, I sewed the signature in with some seam binding. And I did it reversed. I did it so that my bow, or where I knotted it off, would be on the outside instead of the inside in the middle of the signature. So I like that a lot. <clears throat> and then, so I covered this entire piece of cardboard with a doily. Um, one that looks like this. I covered it with on the inside and the outside. So it looks pretty cool. And then I splattered some paint and did all that good stuff. And um, I decorated the back too. And I like it. So on the front we have a layer of doily lace on the outside and the inside going down the spine. Um, some embossed paper, some cheesecloth, corrugated, and a die cut. And then I have a die cut here and here. And then just to show you, you can open this just by pushing down on it and it comes open. Um, and then on the front and the back, on the bottom here, where I have a pocket on the inside, I have two jump rings with some charms hanging from the bottom there. So let's go in. Okay, so the uh, this tag we made together. Uh, so the pocket isn't glued, um, but it could be. Uh, I would just put, like... For the recipient, if that bothered them, just put a little bit of glue right here, glue it down. This side isn't glued, but um, I would just glue, put some glue right there if need be. Okay, so you can see how the doily is uh, on the inside cover too with the lace, the back of the tag. It's been, it feels like it's been a while since I've done a flip through. Uh, some lined paper that's been coffee stained with some crepe paper. You know, that paper that's twisted and comes like in a rope. And you untwist it and it's really pretty. So I wanted to put that in there. And then this is a paper clip. And it has made from uh, coin envelopes. So it has some uh, naked tags in there. That could be decorated by the recipient. Each coin pocket has one. So that just paper clips back over the page. I'm making it harder than it really is. Um, and you could hang something from the eyelet too. I didn't because I wanted to leave it for whoever to do that just some ephemera a little trifold I made it could be turned into like a little notebook but I wanted to throw it in there anyway and then I have this little page here that is actually a pocket I didn't put anything in it um, did some sewing machine stitching some hand stitching put some buttons on there and then this is one of those little, you know, tear apart notepad things. You could, I stapled it, but I just glued it onto the page. So it could be taken off and you could put something totally different here. And then this is a pocket page. And it's got a paper clip that I made who knows how long ago. 
with a tag and that just goes on like this and then I was playing around with some color wanted to make you know try some color out so there's our for uh, second big tag and I tried to leave enough room for writing and someone to put their own touches in this this is a like a specimen slide type thing. It's got a real pressed flower in it. The uh, vellum, not vellum, um, acetate was embossed and then I sewed around it. It could have a, you could put a sheet of paper over that and do journaling. Or uh, put an eyelet in there and hang some charms from it. Hang it from the page. Here's the next pocket with a tag. Just use some book page, doily, lace, and a die cut. That's what the back looks like, sewed around the edges. This is just a coffee stained paper made to look like an envelope. tag I made I made two there's two of these tags in here I made from a collage master board I think yeah that's what they're called um so it's got a big rose die cut that's a Tim Holtz with some layering so I didn't sew around that one I don't know why but here's the other big tag that's what it looks like on the back my sewing machine took a crap on me and did some messy stitching on these couple of tags I don't know I think it had to do with my tension see this one is really bad but that could be covered and I may end up covering it I don't know another little thing with a butterfly sticker in it Here's the other tag I was talking about that I did the collage master board. It's kind of thin. Um, I may end up putting some paper on the back of that. Here's the other big tag. Goes in that pocket. Another little flippy pad or tear away pad parchment paper here's the other one I tried color on I made one of these things a paper clip we made one of these together on a video recently. It's just got the paper clip on the back. <clears throat> and then here's some more hand stitching, sewing machine stitching, layered. And this is actually a pocket. So it's kind of a hidden pocket. Pocket here. And then the back, and there's the tag for the back. And then a decor. Oh, yeah, I already showed you that, how I did the back, too. So, yeah, that's the flip through. Hope you guys liked it. Um, so, my next journal is uh, going to kind of be Love Valentine's themed. I guess I had made this cover a while back <clears throat> and uh, I was just going through a box I have that has some old ephemera that I made like um, and 
and I found this cover in there. I was like, oh, that's where it went. <laughs> so I'm thinking Valentine's, but it probably won't be screaming Valentine's. But I have a few things that I made. I just attached this here so I wouldn't lose it. It's like a little tag on a... Uh, I can't think of the word. Safety pin. And then I just have a few things inside that I um, made. And it's just got... So you can write on the back of that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I was thinking it'd make a really cute pocket. It's got the little heart with some staples. And then I had made this a while back. I thought it would look cute in there. So, yeah. So that's what I that's what I plan on working on next. <clears throat> I may have to uh, untie this and do these longer because they might not be long enough. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. I will let you guys go. And thank you so much for coming and watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next video already. Bye.